Tax Physics Review, numbers 3 and 4. Number 3 says, when the air is released from a balloon, the air moves in one direction and the balloon moves in another direction. Which statement does this situation best illustrate? Well, seeing as I'm seeing the word illustrate here, I'm going to go ahead and illustrate it. So I'm going to show my balloon here and it says that the air moves in one direction and the balloon moves in the other direction. And you've probably seen this. If you've ever let go of a balloon or seen someone else do it, you know that the air is going to come out one end, but the balloon is going to move the opposite direction. And just the word opposite there really lets me know that G is my correct answer. So if you look at the rest of these, F says what goes up must come down. Well, I don't know if it's going up or down. And not only that, this is not a true statement. Um, there are satellites that we've launched into space that will never ever come back down. H says the shape and size of an object affect air resistance. Well this is true, but it doesn't show what this is illustrating of one direction uh, pushing something the other direction. Right? For every action, this air coming out, there's an equal and opposite reaction, the balloon going the opposite direction. And then J says the acceleration due to Earth's gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, this is a true statement, but it's not illustrating this action of the balloon moving opposite the direction of the air that's coming out of it. So let's move on to number four. It says an athlete sitting in a wheelchair at rest throws a basketball forward. Since the athlete and the wheelchair have greater mass than the basketball has, the athlete and the wheelchair will. Well, this is another case of uh, action-reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So I'm going to draw my little uh, stick figure guy in a wheelchair here. And he's going to have a basketball. Okay? So yes, I know I can't draw. But if he tosses this basketball forward, that should, that's my action. My reaction should be equal and opposite. So it's going to be opposite. Now here's the thing, because the basketball has much lower mass than our athlete in the wheelchair, this is going to move forward quite a bit more than this guy is going to move backward because an equal and opposite force will move this small mass a lot more than this large mass. It's like pushing on um, a small box uh, with the same amount of force that you push on a large heavy box, the small box will move more than the large one. So we need to find an answer choice that makes sense with what's going to happen here. So we have, uh, it says the athlete and the wheelchair will move backward at a lower speed than the basketball moves forward. Well that already looks good, so let's keep that in mind. The athlete and the wheelchair will travel the same distance as the basketball but in the opposite direction. No, it's not going to move the same distance because this one has much more mass than the basketball. H, move backward at a higher speed than the basketball moves forward. I would hope not. If he moves back faster than the basketball, he needs to quit playing that game. And then J, have the same forward momentum as the basketball. He's not going to move forward, he's going to move backward. So that does leave us with F as the correct answer.